Hi everybody, tennis coach Robert here. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in today. So I have been watching tennis players warm up and I see this all the time. And the warm up that most of the tennis players that I see, I have no idea what they're doing. I am completely confused. So what I've noticed, and you guys tell me if this is something that you guys see, is that we warm up in the service box. Okay, so we get in the service box and I see a couple of things. So the first thing that I see, and I think what happened is people see professional tennis players warming up in the service box, what have you, so they do this business, okay? But I still, for most players out there, have no idea why people are inside the service box warming up. So let me show you what I see. The first scenario is they hit the ball back and forth, and then what happened is they start to talk to the person on the other side. Did you guys see the lightning game last night? The lightning game was great. You know what? I'm going around and I don't know if they should keep stamp calls and, and so on. So we have this conversation of playing and we're not paying any attention to anything. We're just going around, hitting the ball, talking to each other and doing something. Okay, so that's the first scenario that I see. So people are totally not engaged not even focus on watching the tennis ball, nothing. So I have no idea. So they talk a few minutes. I don't know if they need to catch up with the chat. I have no clue. Again, I don't understand it. The second one is this over-exaggeration of the ground stroke. So they go and they take these big swings and they're hitting the ball and they take these massive cuts and then when they get ready to hit the ball, they slow down. So you go ahead and you take this big swing. I don't know if you're warming up to like big swing and then stop. So I, I don't understand that. So we get these strokes, we take these big swings, like we're gonna hit the ball from the back of the court, and then we stop it and slow everything down. What ends up happening is the ball goes into the net or something like that. So it's totally ineffective for what I would do back there. And if I'm inside the service box, and the ball comes here in a real situation. I am not going to stand like this and do this because I will miss the ball. So a better solution in my opinion is to work on the shots that I will be using here. So if I'm playing doubles, I'll be using little small chip shots. I may use some angle shots to create angles, but to constantly hit this shot over and over, I have no idea. If I'm gonna swing all the way through like this, I'm going to swing with depth. I need the ball to go deep or I need to create some angle. Okay, if we're doing this diagonally, I can kind of understand it, but just straight forward. And if you miss the ball, if you're tense, the ball is short. I don't get it. Confusing as heck. I ha absolutely don't get it. So my suggestion to you guys is this. The first thing that I want to do is I'm a big fan of shadowing. So when I warm up here, I'm going to do my strokes. But the first thing that I'm going to do is watch the ball. So I'm going to make sure that I see the ball hit the string. So I go here very carefully. I see the ball hit the strings. I'm going to exaggerate that motion of seeing the ball hit the strings. And then I see the ball hit the strings. I can even go ahead and do a bounce hit. Right now I'm going very slowly, so I should be able to see the ball hit the strings, okay? The next thing that I want to do is I want to start moving my feet because when you guys are talking and Again, the casual conversation of the foot up and doing all this stuff here, it doesn't really work. So I'm gonna go ahead and be deliberate. So I'm gonna wash the ball and then I'm gonna start moving my feet. So I move my feet and then I come forward, lunge. It was a little windy here. I move my feet, I lunge and I move my feet, hop. Lunge, hop. Move my feet, lunge, hop. So I'm gonna do my hop on my squat, which I call my ready position, approximately when the ball bounces on the other side. So I'm gonna see the ball bounces, and then I move my feet, and then I go hop, move my feet, watch the ball. 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 And I'm doing these basic swinging motions here, not too crazy making sure that I start off easy, okay? Then I can go back here and start to hit some bigger swings. If 
I want to here again watching the ball and then doing a split step when the ball goes over to the other side. So I'm moving my feet and going back and forth. So in this situation, I'm much more deliberate, okay? Focusing on warming up instead of five minutes of chatting back and forth, which you can do before you start on the court. And most likely you guys will be doing this after you're done playing or sitting down, having some coffee, having a beer, what have you. You can talk and gossip and do all the things you need to do. But the first few minutes of warming up to play shouldn't be done with that. You should be focused on your feet, watching the ball, and one of these crazy swings, okay? So if I'm gonna take a full cut, I'm taking a full cut from back there and swinging properly, or I'm taking a full cut from here and hitting the ball as deeply as I can. So I want you guys to go out there and change the way how you guys do the warm up to be beneficial for you. Instead of just going around, chit chatting, doing what everyone else is doing, getting the same kind of results every single time, instead of working on something to, that's gonna make you a better tennis player, make you be able to play tennis. And the side benefit to this is that you're, if you're able to do this, if you have young kids, beginners or whatever that you're rallying with, you'll be able to rally with them also, okay? So everybody benefits from this. You're gonna work on your touch shots, and the kids, if you're playing with the young kids, hitting balls back and forth, nobody wants to go around, standing around, picking up balls. We want to play tennis, okay? Thank you guys very much. And until next time, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Give me a thumbs up so that people know that um, you guys like these videos. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks a lot. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash carbotennis. Tennis for the people. This video was an ADCI LLC production and was filmed at the North Pinellas YMCA located in Palm Harbor, Florida.